spring thaw bill. Uh, we, we won't be long till we're talking about that and watching river levels. For now, though, we're kind of we're at a good time in the winter. Yeah, and, and plenty of winter left, of course, for more snow for the rest of this month, February, even uh, Jan or uh, sh should say March, we can get some big storms as well. So a long way to go there. But uh, yeah, the key is you want a slow uh, spring melt in terms of letting that snow and the moisture seep into the ground and be beneficial. Uh, skies are mostly clear over downtown La Crosse. Some clouds off in the distance. 37 the high today, 26 the low. So above average, averages are 27 and 11, 49 and 26 below the record, just a trace of rain out at the La Crosse Airport. So uh, impacts were minimal in the immediate La Crosse area, but boy, a different story to the north and northeast. Again, numerous uh, reports of uh, road closures this morning because of the icy conditions just made for very, very difficult uh, travel conditions. Lots of schools closed to the north and east this morning and for today as well. 31 degrees out at the airport, still 35 downtown here at the station, feels like 24 with a north to northwest wind at 7. Uh, visibility about 4 miles. Once again, we still have that haze in play. Uh, 34 degrees with a cloudy sky for you folks in Eau Claire. Your wind is calm, so the wind chill is the same. Visibility 3 miles there. In fact, visibility across the area uh, anywhere from 2 to about 5 miles near and north of Interstate 90. And like the past several nights, we could see that haze and fog kind of expand in some areas. But once again, the lack of cold air is prevalent here. You have to go way up into eastern Canada before you get anything real cold. Uh, temperatures in the lower to middle 30s right now. And uh, winds generally from the north at about 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles per hour over towards Rochester, making it feel like 14 there. Uh, most of us seeing some wind chills in the 20s to lower 30s. So uh, for this time of year, not that bad. Now, the precipitation that caused the icy mess this morning now well to our north and east. Uh, and another storm system, very well defined counterclockwise spin over southwestern Kansas. That one's going to track well to our south and leave us alone. Uh, a little bit of moisture uh, on kind of a northwesterly flow uh, could cause some flurries in spots tomorrow, but really shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, again, you can see that cloud cover fills back in for tonight along with that haze and patchy fog. Tomorrow, mainly cloudy. Again, a few spots of blue here and there indicating that flurry chance. Uh, Few and far between, I think. And then as we head into Friday, we'll see some breaks in the clouds and a chance for some peaks of sunshine. Zone forecast showing highs tomorrow. Uh, lower 30s in the La Crosse area, so they're not going to rise much from our overnight lows. Uh, lower 30s down to the south, and as we head back to the north, uh, right around freezing for Black River Falls. 31 in Melrose, 32 in Arcadia, 31 for you folks in Mondovi. And up to the north, we're looking at highs around 30 degrees for Stanley and Bloomer. Also 30 in Chippewa Falls and 31 in Eau Claire and Altoona. So for tonight, becoming cloudy, uh, haze and patchy fog possible, lows in the cross around 28 degrees. Uh, for tomorrow, mainly cloudy, a little bit on the breezy side with a north wind at about 5 to 15, gusting to 20. Uh, a few flurries are possible with a high of 31 degrees. 27 on Friday, so a little bit colder, but that's seasonable. 34 on Saturday and 38 on Sunday. Uh, Saturday looking dry, most of Sunday dry. It's not until uh, Sunday evening or night where we'll see a chance for some light rain or a mix. Mainly rain chances on Monday with highs well above freezing. 39 here in the cross. Maybe a mix Monday night before it tapers. Tuesday's looking dry and then a chance of later day snow on Wednesday and a chance of snow around Thursday of next week as well with highs in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. So kind of seasonably active over the next eight days. All right. Thanks, Bill.